Okay, both guitars need tuners drilled. Next steps, I'm nervous. This is the place where, alright, it's starting to come together and um, it's possible for you to take a step, getting all excited, and then regret doing that so soon a little later. Um, Because of some difficulties with Kai's guitar, um, I'm thinking I'm going to need to fit the top before we get wings on. That seems a little scary too. I've never done it that way. Uh, it, it shouldn't hurt anything, but um, I mean it just adds a little complication that, that I'm not used to, you know, uh, <laughs> forcing myself into. Um, and because we're think, I'm thinking about doing that, I'm thinking it'd probably be wise with this one too. This one, I really want it to fit the template. So to make that happen, um, we may want to, uh, you know, do some adjustment on the wings and the top before it all comes together. As much as I'm excited to get wings on and things to start rolling, when we do get wings on, I want to be able to plop our template on, route the damn thing, and be ready to roll. Um, and we could do that uh, without fitting the top first. Um, you know, that's, that's not a big deal. Then get the top on and flush trim it to what we've got and we should be golden. Um, I did do some looking. Uh, <laughs> after I cut wings and we cut it pretty damn close uh, but I did do a little bit of looking to see that with this template in place um, our existing wings overhang everywhere just a little so it can be flesh trimmed now again, it's not horribly important. It, this shape isn't exactly set in stone. We can make adjustments after and sand it up. Uh, it's not a big deal. It's just, you know, you shoot for a certain level of precision and it's annoying when you don't get it, even if uh, the result is non-consequential. It's still, I'm trying to be as precise as humanly possible and when you fail to do that, it's just, you know, an opportunity to fix something before I forget I did go thickness the the wings down just a tiny bit so that our top scrap is pretty much flush with the with the neck blank so what we could I need to get a nice flat surface but we could go ahead and mark this in Get ready to take this little section off. And there's no reason to wait. You know, as long as we don't go deeper than the... We need to leave a little bit so we can plane that off when the wings get on. And because this is the way we're constructing, we do have to also make sure that the, the back of this blank is absolutely square with the, the fretboard platform. Which, I put a lot of effort into trying to make sure that it was. So, I'm fairly confident, but you always need to check and test and recheck. sides at both ends so it should be pretty square
it square with the blade. So. Now it could prove to be wrong because, you know, being wrong is one of the things that boneheads do. But I can't think of any possible drawback to getting this uh, glued up. Honestly, as long as the, uh, the joint lines up clean, um, what little bit of, of bend is in there will uh, easily clamp out when it comes to get this on the top Okay, when it comes to drilling tuner holes, I'm notoriously ghetto-tastic, <laughs> but I checked my level on both axes, and having it set right, I just, I just put this piece of mahogany in place so I can clamp it down so this will not move. And I did had to do a little adjusting to make sure we were actually centered on our hole. I did a couple little qu uh, quick test holes <laughs> and uh, verified that hardware fit really nicely. Um, the tuner itself it's snug it's it's not you know it's not difficult to mash it in there but it's good and snug and uh, the uh, the top bushing is ever so slightly looser than that so I think we got the perfect size for both um, and even though I'm using different tuners for the kiddos guitar uh, the exact same um, bits seem to work fine for that one too so now how deep to go. That should be more than enough. But I am kind of stabbing in the dark. So that should be plenty deep. This is one of those situations where you want to stop and test that one. But there's not a whole lot of point because if you got five good ones and one bad one. Well, 
I thought I was recording. It never fails, no matter how hard I try. You start with the pilot. You make sure you level on both axes for every hole you poke. Now, I kind of have to go by sight. You know, you line it up the best you can, and then you just barely kiss it when, when you actually start to go drill. And you can see if it, you know, touches the whole thing all the way around. If it doesn't, you got to stop and adjust. Regardless of how much effort I put into trying to make sure that all goes as precise as humanly possible, inevitably there will be one or two that the front and the back are just a little off. And, you know, when uh, you've got such tight tolerances on the holes, that means your bushing hole in the front is going to be... Well, here. That means when you uh, get the tuner in place, there will be a lot less gap on one side of that post, which makes it real hard to get that in there. So, I think it was that one that gave me trouble. So, I'm left taking this guy and working down that side, whichever side is the tight one. Just open it up enough that we can get the, the bushing in there. And usually, I mean like this time, it's a small enough amount that it still looks like a circle. <laughs> Even though you worked it down just a little bit, it's still, uh, you can't really tell by looking. Still, it's another one of those things where, I mean, it doesn't matter, but it matters to me. I'm shooting for a certain level of precision, and when you fail to meet that, for whatever reason, it's just annoying. Try to be precise in everything. Oh, this is the one. And it's still just a little tight on this corner. Worst case scenario, you open it up to the same width of the back hole and it's, it's not going to cause a problem. It's just... I want them to be, you know, the post and the bushing to be tight, tight. And this guy is just apparently slightly fatter than all the rest of them. So he was tight as hell. <sighs> I just want them to be perfect. It's just annoying when they're not, you know. You're never going to be perfect, but you, know, you keep trying to get closer and closer and just annoying when you miss it but we're good we're fitted up I will I'm not gonna know if our plan for a straight pull really worked until you know we get it strung up and so we'll have to wait we can't call it a hundred percent success just yet but we got them on there or we got them drilled and fitted so yay now I gotta do it on the other guitar Boo. Thanks for joining me. If you like what we're doing, if you're digging it, like and subscribe. Catch you next time.